So when the pandemic hit, things were changing rapidly around me. And like many other people, I was working from home, isolated from my friends, from the family, from the Sci Center. I had time on my hands and I wanted to help. So several of us had independently started making masks and realizing that there was a need, the Sci Center decided to coordinate our efforts and start the mask project. It was incredible to see the dedication of all the people that worked on this project. I mean, there were those who cut the fabric, those who procured and transported materials, those who sewed, those who made late night pickups and deliveries, um, all the while coordinating work schedules and family commitments. So when this pandemic first hit, I was furloughed out of work. Um, without my work, I really just felt like I didn't have a purpose or function. So um, it was a really hard time. Um, but when Sevitha suggested that we could work as a team to make the masks, I thought that was a great idea. She suggested that I could cut the material and she would sew the material. So that brought that purpose back into my day. I made it part of my routine to wake up every morning like I was going to work um, and cut mask material every day. I had a chance to start making masks for the hospital my husband worked with. Shortly thereafter, I received a text message from another young adult here in Atlanta, and she was saying that together our Sci Center was putting together a Mask Seva initiative. And this kind of rang true to me because each morning I would pray to Swami saying that I really wanted to be part of something and, and help out. And sure enough, he heard our prayers and, and brought a coalition of people together very quickly. We shared tutorials and tips and resources and photos. It was so inspiring to see the piles and piles of masks that were being lovingly churned out. Now, very early on in the project, Swami showed us that he was directing everything. The question of how to procure fabric was a real question. Um, one day, one of our longtime devotees happened to get in touch with a group in our community that had a huge surplus of medical grade fabric. Within a couple of days, that fabric was picked up and distributed to various members of our group to cut and sew. And it was just like one of those moments when we all thought, Oh, Swami, thank you. You know, it's such grace when we get to see his hand in everything. And despite being isolated, we created a shared bond of doing Swami's work. As soon as I came to know about Mass Seva project, I called Brother Satish that I'm interested in this, that project. And right away, he included me in this project. And... Uh, in the WhatsApp group. Uh, even uh, like little things, it has been wonderful. Uh, I uh, listen to bhajan or listen to some spiritual discourses when I'm making mass, and it's very uplifting. It uh, helps me stay focused and uh, things that I wouldn't do because I don't have time, and I'm taking the time when I'm making mass to engage in those kinds of spiritual exercises. That has been really nice. I have made close to about 300 masks and uh, a little more than that. And uh, are, they have been distributed to various organizations by our center. Oh, I have also actually delivered some masks uh, to three different organizations, to doctor's office, as well as to a woman's uh, uh, mission, missionary, uh, and uh, to uh, just recently uh, a program that's collecting masks for school children so they can get ready to go to school with masks alone but with a sense of community. So usually when we do a service project at the center, we meet, we, we serve, we laugh, um, and we bond. And uh, there is definitely the sense of unity, a sense of community. But this project was completely different since we were making our offerings alone in parallel. One, you lay it out so the curve is on this side. And you're going to sew using a quarter inch allowance. Love all, serve all. That's been his mantra and he wants all of us to follow this. And this mask making has definitely 
been a project that we can use to live by Swami's mantra. And hopefully with our organization uh, distributing masks, we are making some kind of an impact within the larger community. I feel like as a group, we have grown. And uh, now I almost feel like uh, this is a, a family. I'm a part of this uh, mask making <laughs> the group, which is like a family. We are blessed because we feel included in a project that he has his hand in, that he has deemed as special for us. And, and I think that's the part that really makes me smile or, or warms my heart. So this is the great opportunity to show my gratitude to our Sai Ma, who is taking care of her children in like us in this difficult time. And then finally being able to deliver a product that was truly touched with love from so many different hands, hearts, and homes within our, our side community. Uh, and that I think is a, a true testament and proof of, of what our side center is capable of offering. I feel really happy and honored that I was able to be a part of this project in so many different ways. And I hope Swami continues to give us opportunities to serve like this. So thank you to Swami uh, to give me that purpose back in my day and allow me to fill my day with service. Swami gave me many gifts during this pandemic. The opportunity to serve, to reflect, to strengthen my sadhana and deepen my connection to him. And it was a reminder that when we offer our work as worship, whatever it is, Swami takes over and does it all.